today, easy, cheesy, cutie patootie with the Basset Hound. What do you say? Anybody ever seen a Basset Hound? Anybody ever hugged a Basset Hound? Oh, this dog is pretty long, okay? We're gonna start with the head. Make sure you have enough space on your paper for um, this doggy. Now the next lesson we do is gonna be another dog um, one of my most favorite dogs, if that gives you any hint. Um, so if you want to put them all on the same paper, um, I would either put the Basset Hound on one side or the other, because then the other dogs that we do can fit on there, okay? Oh yeah, you know it's my dog. We're totally drawing my beautiful baby, my hundred pounds who wouldn't leave me alone scared to death of fireworks that's how big he is and he would love to be in here right now but he is gonna bark when my husband comes home with the groceries he goes what you talking about me i don't know about that but yeah he was a big scaredy cat with the fireworks anybody else have a scaredy dog with fireworks somewhat oh mine was hyperventilating guys it was bad I mean, it was all out really bad. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. We're gonna start with the head. I used a square. Can you see where I have a square for the head? I used a square. So let's go ahead and put the head where we want it on the paper. Okay, so think about where you want your head. Just sketch a little box. Okay, right anywhere you want. Anywhere you want. And okay, there we go. And let's see. From there, we're going to come down just a little from this corner. Let me see if I can zoom in anymore. There we go. Come down just a little and you pull out. Okay, just pull out just slightly, just like that. Okay, we're going to create the slope for the nose. You got that? So it doesn't need to be that long. Okay, it doesn't need to be that long. And then at the end, we're going to put a nice little nose. So curve, curve here. And then we're going to pull the front down, curve the front. Okay, curve that front. And then watch this. This one is going to come forward. So that way it looks like this nose, we see it, the profile, okay? We see the angle. Good. Are y'all set up, Isabella? Does that work? Excellent. Love it, love it. Awesome sauce. Now let's grab our eraser and erase the bottom part of this square. We don't need that. We don't need it right now. Okay, plus these are really sharp lines. So really what we're doing is building our character, blocking it in, creating the form of the dog. And then we go back and we create the really awesome shape, right? Now, everybody got your nose? Touch the middle, touch the middle down here and we're gonna curve down. Okay, this dog has really big jowls. Okay, that side down. Then let's go back up on the other side of that nose and draw the other side of the mouth, okay? If we don't like those angles, we can always fix them later, but let's just block in our character. Next, we're gonna pull it back toward our, our square, but don't touch, okay, don't touch it. And then this one comes up. So this is the back, back uh, cheek and this is the front cheek. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, from there, I would like to start putting in some detail of the face and then just complete the dog by building him as we go. How's that? Usually we block in the whole character, but today you guys are more advanced, so we'll just do a little more advanced. Now let's take this corner over here and let's round it out. Okay, that's, that's the eye socket on the other side that we cannot see. So round it out. There's no sharp edges on doggies, I hope. Anybody have a sharp edge on your dog? My dogs do claw. You know that little claw on the side? Whoa, that thing hurts. 
Oh, you guys understand what I'm talking about. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Oh, yeah, Caitlin. I'm like, Ugh. now let's round this line out a little. I'm going to start at the top and I'm going to just give it a curve. See how I curved that out just a little bit? I don't want it really sharp. And then let's go down from that curve just a little and I'm gonna do a little curve like this. Now watch what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pull down this line over here. We're creating the eye, the one eye that we see. And then the bottom, we're just gonna curve just slightly. So now we've got a nice, um, it kind of looks like an almond to me, but could be any kind of shape you want. You know, I, I, I think all shapes are food, so this has to be an almond. <laughs> now inside of this, we're going to curve and let's have a reflective spot. You always wanna have an imaginary light source. So here we go, there's the eye. Looking good, he's looking really good. And then above that eye, I wanna give just a little arch to give some kind of, you know, eyebrow look to him. I'm gonna go ahead and erase the rest of that square. And I can still see it just a little, but we don't really need it anymore. It helped us. Helped us get all of our shapes. Now let's go down to this nose. I want the reflective spot to be right in the front. So I'm going to darken in, I think I just darkened in the spot that I wanted white. There we go. That's what the erasers for, right? And I'm going to create this nose, coloring it in, giving this really good color. And I pulled the nose down just a little and curved it, okay? Because I want people to see the contour of the face. Give that shape, yes. You guys are busy today, I love it. Yes. So for this jowl right here, I like the shape. It is a little square right here, so I'm going to just take off that little line and round it out and pull it back. That way it's not so sharp right there. I'm gonna do the same to the little back, uh, flap as well. I think mine's a little too thick. I don't want that much showing. There we go. So I took a little bit off mine. There we go. Now in between it's a little darker in there so let's go ahead and just darken that area for the mouth. Can't get this cheek right. I think my lights are too bright. There we go. Phew, could not see my art today with that bright light. There we go. Now dogs have areas where they have the little whiskers, so go ahead and put those on there. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So let's go up to the top of the head. We have this little angle here. We're gonna pull it back and up just a little okay do you see me go up with that i didn't go straight across the page it would go like that i went up just a little then when we get back just a little let's put the little knot at the back of the head right there now for ears um i'm going to start right behind the eye and i'm going to pull it down to the ground and curve it back. You have to decide how big you want these Basset Hound ears. Some Basset Hounds have ginormous ears. <laughs> I saw a 15 year old Basset Hound and he was walking on his ears. They were so long. I'm like, whoa. Now let's have a little crease in the ear and I'm gonna just shade just a little bit of it. And then the back of the ear is gonna start up by that, that arch right there. We're gonna pull it out 
and then down. Okay, that's a weird shape. So it's curve and then curve back and then down. Beautiful. Okay, love it. For the neck, what I want to do is come, let's see here, come in between this and this and go right in the middle of that. Let's curve the neck back, just a little line because my ear is so big. And then I'm going to just drop down and curve back. I'm going to create the chest of this doggy. Good. Now the other ear is on the other side. Since they're really long, we're gonna be able to see it over here. So this one comes down to this, this um, length. So I'm gonna go up a little and I want it to drop down to there. So objects that are further away are, anybody know? Smaller. So objects that are further away are smaller. Objects that are closer to you are larger. So let's just put like a big letter U right there. Good. Then let's just shade this so we remember that that's an ear back there. Sometimes that helps, right? When we just shade right away so we remember <laughs> that's an ear. There we go. Love it. That is awesome. Okay, now let's go to the top of the head. We've got that little crease, the little knot on the top of the head. My Great Pyrenees has a knot on his head. I'm gonna curve up and away from that. So it kind of looks like a little V right in here. Right there, little tiny V. I'm gonna slope it down. See where we're going with that? And once we get down, let's Curve. Okay, I gotta zoom out. Hold on. There we go. So now we want to decide how long this basset hound is. Okay, if you're drawing a cartoon, you could be a little wild and make him really long or make him short, whatever you want. Okay, you got the link there. Good. I think this looks a little too um, sharp here for me. I'm gonna round this out better. I made it a little too sharp. There we go. I like that round feel. Okay, so for legs, um, I come away from the ear and then I'm gonna put two lines marking where I want the, the leg to come down. Okay, a little bit and then go straight down from there. And then in front, we're gonna put a nice oval on the front of this foot. See my oval? I'm gonna zoom back in now that you now that you got it. Now grab your eraser, erase the section where the ankle is. Erase that section. Now you know my favorite thing to draw is wrinkles. You know that. Ugh. I can't even draw Yoda guys. I don't like wrinkles. No, 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 no. Wrinkles are fun at your age. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so let's draw some wrinkles on this dog, okay? Folds of skin. So the front of the leg, let's curve this. Let's curve it. Get a curve. And then from there we're going to we're going to bring a curve in. Okay? Now you got to get some folds in here. I'm going to bring another fold back this way. And let's do a nice big wrinkle up here. So it sort of looks like a backward S. We are creating some serious folds on this doggy. Now toes, I'm gonna start right underneath that front leg and I'm gonna put the letter C here. Okay, put the letter C, drag it out down, along the bottom. Don't make it a fancy C, just Put a little C there. <laughs> if it's fancy, it won't look like a dog. Then let's touch the bottom and we're going to curve back into the foot. And it's not as tight of a C as the first one. 
And then what's left of that oval, let's just wrap it around. Okay, because those are the only toes that we can see. Sweet. Now let's do the back, the back of the, the leg. Now we have a curve coming down like this. So let's curve that and then round that elbow out. Okay, round it out. Don't have points on doggies. No sharp points on doggies. And then we're gonna just wrinkle, pull some wrinkles in. Nothing fancy there. And then he even has wrinkles up here by his arm. So I'm gonna just curve right above that. And while we're at it, you can just shade a little back there. Add a little contrast. Sweet. Okay, well, he's got two front legs. So we've got one done. It's closest to us. It's largest. And then we're going to go back. So let's draw a little line, curve it backward, back toward away from us. Go from with us, away from us. There we go. Now I'm gonna bring this paw right here and I'm gonna round it out having the oval back here and then pull the leg up. See how I did that? So now we've got the two legs and we've got it at a correct angle and the one furthest away is smaller. Okay, you don't have to have that line there but I wanted you to see. Now what are we gonna do? We're gonna put a nice big wrinkle here and a nice big wrinkle here. And then of course the C for the toe and you can just tuck it back because you can't see the back of the leg. And then let's do another toe. We can only do a, one more toe on that one because we cannot even see the other side of that foot. Okay. Beautiful. I think this doggy's happy that we chose Basset Hound today. I've always wanted to do a Basset Hound. Now I want to give them some wrinkles in the chest area because I know they have all those folds of fat. I'm going to just shade underneath his neck right there and then we can just shade a couple of wrinkles underneath his chest just lightly we're just giving a little bit of a contrast maybe a little bit of depth there by shading that all righty let's see here we need to swoop the belly back okay don't go don't go too too fat we don't want an obese dog okay let's do a Pretty healthy dog. So I'm gonna take my line from here, pick it up, come on the other side of that uh, leg, and let's just pull it back and then up. Do you see how I, how I just continued it and slope it up? Good. Now I think my dog is pretty, he's a pretty good size, but I think he's still a little too long. I just took a little tiny touch off. The back leg is going to curve right here, curve that. And we want to stay um, on the same plane, okay, when we, when we draw the dog. So try to, you don't have to draw a line or anything, but just eyeball where you want that back paw to go and you can put your oval back there. And if that looks good, then we can commit to it. If not, I'll just erase that oval and just try to keep placing it until you realize, you know what, that is good. I like that. Okay. I think our Basset Hound is ready for some food in his bowl. <laughs> food in the bowl. Awesome, awesome. You guys are looking good. Looking good. Today's a good day. We all survived fireworks, right? All the noise. 
all the dog drama. <laughs> we have foster kittens. So they did not care about, um, they had no idea what was going on with the uh, fireworks. They didn't care. You did fireworks? Awesome. Awesome. I didn't have anybody in my family that wanted to do that. My Marine usually does them and he hasn't been here in three years. So no fireworks in my house. Oh, sad. Okay, everybody got it? You ready? Let's connect this. So from here, we're going to come down into our oval. Okay. Oh, your neighborhood doesn't allow us. I am going to be your neighbor. I am moving over to your neighborhood. Seriously. I do not like fireworks because my doggies don't like them. Ugh. Now let's erase the back of this oval. Okay. Erase the back of the oval. We're going to curve up. We're going to curve up. When we get past this, we're going to curve in. Okay, get that little knee in there. Oh, hold on a second. Hi. We got surprise visitor. One of my fosters are here. This is, what is his name? Mario. This is Mario. Can everybody say hi? He has been with us uh, for two weeks. He got a cold at the shelter, and so we are babysitting him and his sister while um, they get better. So this week, they'll probably go up for adoption. So we're not used to having cats. You know, we're dog people at this house. So we uh, brought in these kittens, and he's a talker, guys. He, he likes to run all over my house and find me in the house. And we don't really do cats, but we do Mario. <laughs> oh, he's looking at you guys. <laughs> so his little sister, Daisy, looks nothing like him, but she's not as friendly. We're trying to train him to like dogs and people and cats. Um, and what else? Oh, can you hear him purring? Here. Can you hear him? Does he come across? He is so loud in his purring. Okay, thank you for bringing him. Bye, Mario. Nah, it's okay. There you go. You got a sneak peek of some of my fosters. That's foster number 72. Foster number 72. In two years, we've had 72. <sighs> it's, a lot of, it's a lot of poo to clean. <laughs> Everybody got it? You, got, you caught up with me? Awesome. Let's go ahead and do a letter C for the toe. And this one, I'm not going to do any extra toes because I just think it's so small. There we go. Now let's come up to this joint right here and put a wrinkle in there and then pull out some more wrinkles. Let's do some, a little bit of shading under those wrinkles and pull that out. I got cat hair in my mouth now that I gave him a kiss. Blech. He's the one making my, my throat sound like a frog. Now, what do we do about the, the foot in the back? Remember, we drew a line to get that angle. Okay, we want to do the same thing back here. Okay, so if you need, draw that line. I always love to have my little extra lines, my graphs, my um, charts, whatever we need. Let's do an oval back here and pull that line up. Okay, draw the rest of that foot. We can't see much because that big belly, right? Not much. So curve that toe, bring it back around. There we go. Come on camera, come back to me. I moved too fast for my camera. It doesn't like to keep up with me. Okay, so we've got the belly. Oh, I just totally messed that up. Got the belly. I was going to darken my line and zapped it. Okay, so the back of the leg, we've, we've curved it right here. Now let's bring it out and then back. Okay, he's got a weird back leg 
This is part of the hip bone right here. So pull that down out and around. Whew. Wow, you guys are doing advanced doggies today. Love it. Now his tail is long. Okay, do you know why this dog has a long tail? It's when he goes through all the, the weeds in the, on the farm, they can put their little tail up and let their, their owner know where they're at. There's a million reasons why these dogs have long tails, but that's the one I remember and love. I want to know where my dog is at, you know, when there's, when there's tall, tall grass. Now, this dog right here that I did earlier, it is like a beacon. You're right. Thank you. Thank you. That's the word I was looking for, beacon. Um, this dog has like brown patches. So instead of coloring him, I just used my stomp and created the, the texture shading, the spots all over him. So let's go ahead and add some more detail to him. I'm going to hold my pencil a little further back and angle it on its side and just give a light um, layer of shading all over the areas I want to notice that he's just got some different pattern to him. I'm going to even shade the ears because I think the ears are brown as well. I've never fostered a basset hound. I would love to. I would love to. The last ones we had were chihuahuas and poodles, I think. And Labradors. And I think I'm going to add a couple more wrinkles in the ears by just um, shading some darker spots to create that fold and that depth in the ear. If you have a blending tool, if you have a stomp or a Q-tip, you can blend those areas and let it look really smooth and you take out all those pencil lines. Sometimes I like my pencil lines and sometimes I'm like, this one totally needs to be smoothed out. Did Aaron put a snail on top of the dog? No. <laughs> no. Okay, now the back legs I'm going to shade because um, underneath that dog there's really no light. So I'm going to shade those. I am going to put a spot. Uh, let's see here. Out and down. Let's put a spot on this dog. Let's just create a weird shape. I don't want it pointed though. There, I'm going to have a little weird shape here. And then on the, t on the back of the dog, let's just have a little bit. And the bottom, I'm going to have a little bit here. I went off of, I googled Basset Hound, so that's how I got this creature and the spottings. So I know they're all different, but relatively the same, right? There we go. Now his belly, we do need to add some shading under the belly. And I am going to add some in front of those legs for some shading. Because uh, my light source is usually um, over on the right. See, there's my light. And it will cast a shadow on the left. Can you tell with my light? So obnoxious. Um, so let's add a little bit of shading where there would be um, a little shading. And then I'm going to add an anchor shadow. We want to anchor this guy to the ground, even though he is pretty close to it already let's anchor him with a shadow go between the legs go to the front make it smaller out front okay because that's just a a cast shadow and down here is an anchor shadow so you're anchoring him to the ground anchor him to the ground there we go very cute very cute
I don't know what he's looking at, but he looks very, very pleased with himself about something. He's very happy.